Give God the blood, Master Broke. Give him the praise. Me gregede gede. 
Reggae, 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 reggae. Manda broga daga. Magraga daga. Reggae te prostele broga daga. Migraga daga. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. Manta broge de gete. May Jesus do wonders in your life. Rabros Dagada, as you are praising him right now. Migras da broke de brogada. Le proste grege de Somebody give him the glory, give him the praise. Ma prasta grege de. Men de brogada da da. Re grege de de. Man da broste le brogada da. Bless the name of the Lord tonight, Master Brogede Gede. Master Brogede Gede. Master Brogede Gede. My trust in the Brogada. My Gragada. My Gragada. My Gragada. Man de bros de le brogada. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ma bros de le brogada. Le bros de grege de grege. Ma krakata prokata kata. Ma prokata kata. Mantele broste grege Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Ebrege de gede gede Magada gada gada Minto breste le brogada Thank you Jesus Thank you Jesus Magrege de gede Magra gada gada. Magra gada gada. Magada gada gada. Thank you, Jesus. Rapros de gre gede. Re gre gede gede. Mantele bro gada gada. Reg 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 reg. Magra gada gada. Reg 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 reg. Magra gada gada. Reg 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 reg. Reg 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 reg. Magra gada gada. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory, Lord. And we give you the praise. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen and amen. God bless you. I hope you enjoyed um, the music of my wife, Pastor Ebimensa. Amen. Shakara. I go to Shakara. I will show off and for what God has done for me. 
um, and, and may the Lord do wonders in your life so that your life will be a testimony for the whole world to see. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. If you shouted amen where you are, or if you typed amen, then you are the one I'm prophesying to. And may, may your life be a wonder for the whole world to see. May your life be a symbol of Christ wherever you are in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen and amen. So God bless you all for um, participating in um, tonight's uh, broadcast on behalf on behalf of our Bishop Francis Sapon and the First Lady Reverend Elizabeth Sapon and our current President um, Reverend uh, Prophet Reverend Prophet Abed Ejechum. I I I once again welcome you all to tonight's um, edition of the hour um, of glory i mean god bless you for making time i know that some of you have had very busy day a very busy day and and, and yet um you've made the time you've made time you've made time to to join us tonight may the lord bless you as part of the sacrifice that i'm always talking about Amen. It will never be in vain. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And amen. And amen. So God bless you all. Um, tonight is going to be another, another powerful night. Um, please continue to click the thumbs up if you haven't done so yet. And continue to share it. Amen. Continue to share it. Um um I, I i i i teach and preach from my 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 life experience and 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 so if you get some people if you get your family members and your loved ones to join it will help them so that those who have been through some of the things i have experienced um will be liberated tonight amen so please get everybody on board get all your loved ones on board share it Share it instead of sharing those TikTok videos that don't help anyone. Um, share this link, it will be a blessing to someone, amen. Especially, um, regarding some of the things uh, I'm, I'm gonna uh, 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 um, say, say tonight, amen. Um, so please get them, um, get them all on board, get them all on board, and 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 um, they, they will thank you um that you 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 got them involved tonight so please please um uh, uh, call somebody uh, 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 and get them to to participate in tonight's broadcast and the lord will bless you immensely in jesus mighty name amen so god bless you all once again uh for coming on board tonight um, please continue to like and share it as I said uh, and the Lord will surely surely bless you in Jesus mighty name amen and amen and amen um, we I'm just going to just a moment please uh, just a moment and uh, let me just sort this out quickly great great yes um so i'm going to repeat some of the things i said today at prayer of jabez and then we are going to go into another um serious time of prayer and then we're going to go into another serious um time of prayer uh, uh, we were we've been looking at evil patterns we've been looking at evil um cycles praise the lord and then i made you to understand we look we looked at a scripture in the bible where seven brothers were married to one woman and they all died 
And then soon after they died, Matthew chapter 22. Soon after they died, the woman also died. And then, um, and then I, I, we asked ourselves that what will cause seven men to sleep with the same woman and die? I mean, after the second or third one, by now they should have known that something was wrong. And not continue. Amen. Then I made you to understand that the reason why some of these evil cycles repeat themselves is because the enemy gets hold of your mind. The enemy gets hold of the mind. So, so that though you see that something is wrong, you can't stop it. And you go ahead and repeat the same evil cycle, sometimes in the family. Amen. So the enemy gets hold of your mind. Amen. The enemy gets hold of your mind. And so we began to look at mind-controlling spirits. Mind-controlling spirits. Amen. And, 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 and then we looked at Proverbs um, chapter number 4, verse 23. Proverbs 4, 23, where he says that, Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issues of life. I mean, it says keep your heart. Protect your heart. Protect your mind. With all diligence. Do everything possible to protect your mind. Because out of it flows the issues of life. In other words, your life is what goes on here. Your life is what goes on here. Praise the Lord. What goes on in the mind controls your life. What goes on in the mind determines who you become. So the mind becomes a battleground for God and the Holy Spirit. Sorry, my apology. The, the mind becomes a battleground for God and the enemy rather. Not the Holy Spirit. That was a mistake. Amen. So the mind becomes a battleground um, for God and the Holy Spirit. And I made you to understand that whoever captures your mind controls you. That is why um, I even give an example of some of these authoritarian governments around the world. They control the people by controlling the media. So you only hear what they want you to know. And that's how they become like zombies. And that's how they become ignorant of what is going on um, outside their world. So they only feed your mind with certain information. And that's how they control you. Or that's how they control the masses. That's how they control the masses. Amen. So if you live in some of those countries, you, it's difficult to gain access to outside information. And if they catch you with outside information, uh, it's, it's, it's treason. They can jail you for so long or sometimes even execute you. Because that's how they control the people. By the information they give them. By the information they give them. Amen. Amen. So the mind is powerful. The mind is powerful. Amen. So it's a constant battleground. It's a constant battleground. And my prayer is that as you begin to pray, and as I, 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 I pray for you tonight, or as we pray together, may the Lord deliver you and your household members from any spirit, any demon controlling the mind in the name of Jesus Christ. And then we went on to look at 2 Corinthians Chapter number 10, verse 4 to 5. We use the Lord when we are praying. We, we use it a lot when we are praying. It says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. I mean, in other words, what, what the weapons that we are fighting in life are not things that you can lay your hands on. Amen. They're not carnal. You can't lay your, your hands on it. When you see somebody fighting you at the workplace, no, the battle did not begin at the workplace. No, 
The battle actually started in the spiritual realm. When you see someone hate your children for no reason, it, it didn't start with that person. It started in the spiritual realm. If you understand this principle, you will draw closer to God. You will draw closer to God. God will be your best friend. The Holy Ghost will be your best friend. In other words, what this Bible verse makes us to understand that is the spiritual realm that controls the natural realm. Amen. But let me not go too much into that so that we don't miss it tonight. I don't I don't uh, go into something else. Amen. Amen. So our weapons, the weapons of our weapons are not carnal, but they are mighty in God. They are mighty in God. Amen. In other words, what is fighting you? You need the might of God to deliver you from it. You need the might of God. A certain scripture has come into my mind. Uh, 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 let me just, let me just, uh, uh, um, Ephesians chapter 6. Uh, uh, a certain scripture just came to my mind. So very often when that happens, the Holy Ghost is telling me to read it. Amen. Um, Ephesia, Ephesians, uh, Ephesians chapter number 6. Ephesians chapter 6 uh, where are we where's my bible i mean just bear with me my 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 the one on my um system just froze so efficient efficient chapter number 6 and then Ephesians chapter number 6 and verse 10. Ephesians 6 10. It says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Ephesians 6 10. Uh, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Be strong in the Lord. Amen. After everything that I've said concerning your salvation, the Apostle Paul is telling us here that be strong in the Lord and in the power of the might. In, in the power of his might, rather. In the power of his might. Then he goes on to talk about how we must put on the whole armor of God because there's an enemy we are contending with. So you need to be strong in the Lord. You need to be rooted in Christ. Today in our churches, we are not rooted enough. We are not rooted enough. We have lightweight believers. But you need to be strong in the Lord. To fully benefit from the power of His might. And that's how we fight this battle. We are, and this thing is not going to stop. We are in this battle until Jesus returns. Somebody will ask me that, do I have to keep going for deliverance all the time? I say, why not? Going for deliverance doesn't mean that you have a problem. But going for deliverance means that you are constantly repelling the enemy. And I was saying that, look at how powerful David was today at prayer of Jabez. And yet, look at the number of times the Philistines kept coming back to fight him. All his life, David fought all his life. Until the Lord gave him rest in his old age. This battle is constant. It's not something you do tomorrow and rest. Praise the Lord. We are in this battle until the coming of our Lord. And so why do we need why 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 do do we need um to be um, strong in the Lord and the power of his might? Amen. And because we need to cast down imaginations. I'm back, I'm back to Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 5. I mean, I read 4. Amen. It says that cast down, casting down a imaginations. I like the King James Version. Casting down imagine, and every, every height in that exalts itself against the knowledge, and the knowledge of God. And bringing into captivity every thought. 
every thought to the obedience of Christ. You need to bring into captivity all your, your thought pattern, your thought pattern into, uh, sorry, to the obedience of Christ. Amen. You need to bring your thought pattern to the obedience. Your thought pattern has to be aligned with the word of God. Constantly. If not, the enemy takes advantage of you. Praise the Lord. When you speak, you must sound like Christ. When you behave, you must behave like Christ. Praise the Lord. When you go to work, people must see Christ in you. You don't have to carry a Bible or tell people that you are Christian before they know you are not. So before they know you are. Before they know you are. No. Amen. And, and it comes, it happens when your thought is aligned with the Lord's. Amen. And the enemy knows that that is what makes you powerful. The enemy knows that that is what makes you who God wants you to be. He knows that. Praise the Lord. So he says that you must cut down every imagination. That is not from God. Cut it down. Rebuke it. And, and if you don't rebuke it, it becomes a stronghold. A stronghold is anything strong holding you. Anything strong holding you and controlling your life. And that is why the enemy has made it so easy for you to gain access to information that you don't need through social media. That's what, in fact, that is what social media is mainly about. That is what social media is mainly about. To capture you. It, it, it's good. It's good. But the, the enemy is weaponizing it. He's using it to destroy many lives. Praise the Lord. And may the Lord deliver us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 So the Bible says that you must guard the mind um, above everything else because it influences who you become. Amen. Praise the Lord. And so let me just give you um, 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 a, a, a few more points and we'll begin to pray. Amen. So, so the enemy attacks your minds through the Im images, through images, the images he presents to you, the images you see uh, 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 determines who you become. Praise the Lord. If you see a negative image, and then that's how, what you're going to become. If you see a positive image that's of, of who you are, then that's who you're going to become. And the Apostle Paul is warning against it. That we must align our thoughts uh, with, with, with the word of God. So that we will become what God says about us. And because the enemy doesn't want you to, he presents other images to you. And that's how he gets in. The enemy exploits your vulnerability. I keep saying that. So be careful what you're watching when nobody's there. Be careful. Why you go on social media? Social media is good. I go on it, but very often when I'm on it, I'm there mainly to promote some Christian stuff. Then I come up with it quickly. So be careful what you watch. Be careful who you listen to. Who are your friends? Do they compliment you all the time or are they always looking for something negative about you to say? Not good for you. Be careful who you are married to. What environment are you living in? Excuse me. Praise the Lord. Yeah. What do they constantly tell you about yourself?
Praise God. Sometimes that's how the enemy is operating. The enemy operates through people to deposit negative things in you so that you will not fulfill God's agenda for your life. And that's how demons come in. Amen. And we saw at Tree of Jabez that once they start coming in, they, they come in as legions. They come in their numbers. They come in their numbers and it forms a stronghold. They come in their thousands sometimes to form a stronghold. So it's difficult to break. But tonight, I believe strongly that as we begin to pray tonight, whoever you are standing in for, uh, amen, or if you are standing in for yourself, uh, may the Lord intervene mightily tonight uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, amen and amen and amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. So that's what a stronghold is. Um, I've spoken about cycles already. Amen. Then I gave you some points of how you know when whether spirits are controlling your mind. I said a lot. I've said a lot so far. I'm going to say them quickly because I've already emphasized them. When somebody is refusing to receive Jesus Christ, very strong sign that the God of this world is blinding them. Pray that the Lord will deliver them. Spend more time praying behind the scenes. Don't give up on them. And they will come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. When somebody is constantly against deliverance, deliverance is in the Bible. Jesus was always casting out demons. That's what deliverance is. Deliverance is simply, deliverance is simply um, a God taking somebody from the grips of the devil. Deliverance means saving somebody from the devil. That's what deliverance is. Saving someone from the devil. That's all it is. And it's, in the, it's clearly in the Bible. That was Jesus Christ's main mission. Amen. He came to save, to deliver us from the hands of the devil. That's what deliverance is. When you see somebody arguing against it, that's what they have. Very likely they have a problem. It's very likely. It's very likely. Amen. Avoidance of prayer meeting. You avoid prayer meetings. Very quickly, let me say, so we have time to pray. Mental illness. Some mental illnesses can be caused by that. Amen. When you reject your destiny helpers, those who are sent to help you, you reject them. Um, when you reject sound advice, sound advice everybody's advising you and you're refusing to accept it your pastor advising you the elders of the church advising you they are all saying the same thing mommy is advising you daddy is advising they are all saying exactly the same thing uh, even your friends your close friends are telling you that listen to your parents listen to your pastor and you are still rejecting it in some cases your wife is also telling you that listen to what everyone is telling you and you still don't want to know um very sign very strong sign a very strong sign. When you know what to do to succeed, and yet something is holding you back. So when you know what to do to succeed, and something seems to be holding you back. Something seems, anytime you are trying to take the step forward, something seems to hold you back. A very strong sign. Amen. And sometimes when you have severe migraines, constant mig migraine, you've been for all the, the scans, the MRI, CT scan, I don't know what other scans we have. Um, they've done your blood test and yet the doctors can't see what is wrong with you um, very sign, a very strong sign Amen. forgetfulness, not in your old age you are very young and you, you keep forgetting things strong. suicidal thoughts very deadly, you want to kill yourself and sometimes you can't even explain why you have good parents you have nice people around you and you still want to commit suicide uh, Amen. Uh, a very strong sign uh, when you feel that you are going to fail, when you feel that you are going to you are fail, you are going to fail. Amen. When you always feel that somehow you are going to fail, you are doing very well, but you think you are going to fail. Amen. Another one is uh, when you feel that you are going to die early. Amen. When you feel that you are going to die, um, if if you have a severe illness, then I can understand. Um, but that's not what I'm talking about. You're very healthy, but somehow you think you're not going to live long. Um, that could be another strong sign. When you entertain fear, you're always afraid. 
um uh, very strong sign and i this afternoon i also spoke about sleeping sleep sleep what we call sleeping sickness uh, you you sleep very well at night so you, you go to bed 10 o'clock in the night wake up at six in the morning um, and you sleep very well eight hours solid sleep and yet during the day you can't stay awake could be a strong sign amen when you're constantly giving excuses these are some of the ones i mentioned today at three of Jabez. constantly giving excuses excuses why you can't do something uh, I mean, you have you have all the resources available they're constantly giving excuses um um excuses why you never take responsibility for anything i mean you never take responsibility for anything um and you're always giving excuses always giving excuses always giving excuses um of why something can be done always giving excuses um check it out pray against it um inability to prioritize the issues of life i mean so you do things anyhow and then you're not able to prioritize things in life um the first thing that must be, be your priority in life is god god must be number one on your list when you wake up in the morning god when you're going to back to bed when you're going to bed at night god and and, and, and he should always be at the top and if you're not able to do that and prioritize other things in your life uh, another sign and these are some of the things that i've seen in ministry uh, um, um, and, and then today we also looked at mark chapter 5. sorry we, we might not pray for long but uh, sometimes deliverance is not just prayer sometimes deliverance is in fact deliverance is mainly information information amen and then we looked at um mark chapter 5 and i think i highlighted um a couple of things there uh, in mark chapter 5. L let's just go to it quickly amen and then when, when after i've done this we'll pray for a long time we pray for the rest of the time and then i'll pray for you and we'll bring the meeting to a close mark chapter 5 i, I made you to understand that as far as i'm concerned i think this is one of the best chapters in the bible that describes how demons operate study this chapter Amen. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, uh, as far as I am, I'm concerned. Um, where are we? Let me go to the New King James Version. Uh, verse five. I think we looked at verse five today. Mark chapter five, verse five. Mark five five. Amen. Bible says that and always night and day he was in the mountains. Always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tubes, crying out and cutting himself with stones. Amen. Now this was a man who was demon possessed. This was a man who was demon possessed. And the Bible says that he was always cutting himself with stones. And now the Lord was saying to me that, of course, while he was cutting himself with stones, blood was flowing while he was cutting himself with stones he could hit he could feel the pain and yet the demons had taken over him I mean, it's a very good um, chapter to, to study because the demon had taken over him he kept doing it even though he was harming himself and i said that another way that you know that spirits are controlling your mind is when you are constantly harming yourself in this case it was his health in this case it was his health amen um but there are other examples of self-harm i mean so for example another self-harm is when doctors have told you that um uh, which which organ in the body doesn't uh, the doctors would normally tell not to drink because of is it the liver or the, uh, the kidney amen and doctors are telling you that if, if you don't stop drinking um it will damage your organs and yet you are still drinking and you want to stop but can't stop and, and you hear a voice telling you to continue to drink. Self-harm. Self-harm. Um, uh, today I use an example of, 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 of somebody who, for example, has been in business for 45 years. And maybe a, a, a young adult who has just gone into business. 
If it's somebody who has been in uh, business for 45 years and you're a young person, you've just started business. And, and, and the one who has been in business for 45 years is telling you that if you continue to do business this way, your business will go down. Uh, and you meet another one who has been in the same business for more than 30 years, uh, advising you and you are not listening. And eventually your business goes down. It's a form of self, it's a form of self-harm. It's a form of self-harm. It's a form of self-harm. You're going to marry. And everybody is telling you that in our family, if we marry this type of people, very often it doesn't go well with us. If you marry this type of people, people with this type of character, this type of behavior, very often it doesn't go well with us. So you hold on, pray about it, and you still go into it, and the marriage fails. Self-harm. You harmed yourself. And, and sometimes these spirits will make you so stubborn that you refuse to listen so that you can harm yourself. Or you are in ministry and, and those who have been in ministry way before you are telling you that yes, we thank God that God is using mightily but be careful, take it easy, slow down, slow down and you don't listen and eventually the music, the ministry goes down. You harmed yourself. And very often that's what happens. They, they take over your senses. So you don't listen to what they're saying so that eventually you will harm yourself. Or you're a student. Uh, your parents went to school. They, 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 they've been to school. They've studied. They've succeeded. And, and they're looking at the way you are dealing with your education. And they are probably telling you that uh, my daughter or my son, if, if the way you are studying, if you, if you keep going that way, it will not help you. And you don't listen. And, and very often these spirits will tell you that, no, don't listen to them. Don't listen to them. And before you know, you're struggling or you fail altogether. It's a form of self-harm. So self-harm is not when you're only cutting yourself or damaging your health. Amen. It can be other things too. Amen. But tonight, as we begin to pray, may the Lord set you free. I hope I'm making myself clear. I hope I am making myself um, um, clear tonight. If I am, type yes. If you are being blessed, type yes. As I said, deliverance, prayer alone will not do it. Sometimes all you need is information. All you need is information. Amen. All you need is information. Now, I think we looked at another one. Um, I can't remember which verse it was. Uh, well, I think I've spoken about that already. Um, uh, where Jesus Christ asked the man that... Who are you? And said that we are legions. Verse 13. Oh, no, not that one. No, that's um, way back. Oh, verse, verse 9, rather. Then he asked him, verse 9, rather. He said, then he asked him, what is your name? And he, and he answered saying, my name is legion for we are many. My name is legion for we are many. Thank you, those who are, oh, it's the liver. Uh, Sister Teresa, thank you very much. And Sister Teresa, thank you, is the liver. Thank you. Thank you. And um, thank you. Amen. Um, uh, it says that uh, we are legion for we are many. They come in. Once, once gain access, they come in their numbers to form a stronghold. They come in their numbers. That is why the Bible says that resist the devil and he will flee. Resisting the devil is not just prayer only. Praise the Lord. Resisting the devil is avoiding some of the things I've been telling you tonight. That's how you resist the Resist the advice. Uh, if social media is the problem, resist it. Don't go on it. If, if alcohol is the problem, you must resist certain friends in your life. Stay away from them. You don't necessarily have to break the relationship. Sometimes even if you have to, so be it. So be it. Stay away from them. If it's alcohol, don't, don't go clubbing. Avoid disco. Don't go there. Or any, and wild parties. Don't go there. And that's resisting the devil. So apart from prayer, uh, uh, that's how you resist the devil. If, if you are surrounded by bad people who are constantly doing bad things or people who are constantly calling you names, amen, resist them. Find a better company. 
Go to church, find good Christians and associate yourself with them. And I said good Christians because in the house of God there are also bad Christians. Praise the Lord. So be careful. Amen. And, and, and that's how you resist the devil. The prayer alone will not do it. Prayer alone will not do it. You have to resist the enemy also. And by taking action. By taking action. Praise the Lord. Um, if, 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 if polygamy is a problem in the family, don't hang around friends who are sleeping with women all over the place. Eventually you will do the same thing. So you resist them. You avoid them. Resist them. Avoid them. Don't hang around them. Amen. And that's how you fight this battle. Amen. And may the Lord help us all. In the name of God the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. To be continued. It's a long list. And these are things, I'm telling you things from my personal experience. I'm telling you th these things from my personal experience. Uh, uh, with my personal life and also as a deliverance minister. Things that I've seen. Amen. And, and may the Lord help you. May the Lord deliver you. May, 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 may you be strong in the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus. And in, and in the power of his might. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let's pray. We are going to pray for about non-stop for about five minutes or seven minutes or so. And then I'll begin to mention your names and pray for you. I mean, re repeat after me. Say, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pull down every strong imagination in my heart. I dismantle you. Now make sure you are repeating what I'm saying. Say tonight, I pull down every strong imagination, evil imagination rather. I put down every evil imagination in my heart. I dismantle you tonight. I bind you and I cast you out in the name of Jesus Christ. Say, I put down and I destroy any stronghold of uncontrollable thoughts, any stronghold of uncontrollable thoughts uh, in my life. Uh, I pull you down. I destroy you and I cast you out of my life uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, say you demons trying to gain access into my mind. You spirit, I bind you in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and I expel you tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, now lift up your voice and begin to pray. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Or your voices and begin to pray. Somebody pray intensively. Somebody pray intensively. Very often in these prayers, don't speak in tongues alone. Amen. Command the spirit to go. Exercise your authority as a believer. Exercise your authority as a believer and command it to leave you alone. Now begin to pray. Now pray, pray, pray. Somebody intensify your prayer. Intensify your prayer. Intensify your prayer for the next the next five minutes or so. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Intensify your prayer tonight. Please continue to share the link. This 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 information will help somebody. I mean, these prayers will deliver someone. And so get them on board tonight. Get everybody on board tonight. Very soon, I'll be mentioning your names and I'll be praying for you. Somebody pray tonight. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Intensify your prayer. Make sure you repeat some of the things I said. Make sure you repeat them. Amen. Pull down every stronghold of uncontrollable thoughts. Anything that uh, takes over your mind, amen. So you can't um, um, think straight, amen. Pull it down, pull it down, destroy it, destroy it. Any stronghold of uncontrollable thoughts. There are some of you, all kinds of thoughts keep coming in every day. Bad thoughts, all kinds of thoughts, negative thoughts keep coming to your mind. That is what you are dealing with. There's a spirit behind it sometimes. Bind it and cast it out. In the name of Jesus Christ, bind and destroy any evil imagination in the heart. Bind it, dismantle it. In the 
name of the bind the spirits behind it uh, and cut them out in the name of Jesus Christ uh, and then totally surrender your mind to the Holy Ghost uh, and then totally surrender your mind to the Holy Ghost uh, but bind them out bind them and cast them out uh, whoever you are standing in for mention their names but don't type their names uh, mention their names uh, and dismantle any stronghold controlling their thought patterns uh, in the name of Jesus Christ and bind the spirit behind it and expel it in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody can't you to pray for the next few minutes and then totally surrender your mind to Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. 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 Intensify your prayer tonight. Continue to pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Intensify your prayer. Intensify your prayer. Hey, man to pray. Take it, take it. Intensify your prayer tonight. Intensify your prayer tonight. And if you are standing in for someone, mention their names and pray for them. Mention their names and pray for them. And the Lord will set them free in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Magragada. Somebody can't you to pray. Somebody can't you to pray. Somebody can't you to pray. And get everybody on board tonight. Manda brogada gada gada. Somebody pray tonight. Somebody pray tonight. You are doing exceptionally well tonight. You are doing exceptionally well tonight. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Manta prostele brogada gada. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray, 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 somebody pray, somebody pray. Very soon I'll be mentioning your names and I'll be praying for you. So get everybody on board tonight. My prasta la prosta Somebody continue to pray. Somebody continue to pray. Hey, pull down every evil imagination, evil imagination, uncontrollable thoughts. Rabroguru. And totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Manta Somebody pray. Pray like never before. Continue to pray. Pray with intensity. Pray fervently tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody can't you to pray. Somebody can't you to pray. You are doing exceptionally well tonight. You are doing exceptionally well tonight. Intensify your prayer. Intensify your prayer tonight. Intensify your prayer tonight. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Don't just pray in tongues. Don't just pray in tongues. Confront the spirit. Call it by name and cast it out. Destroy the stronghold of uncontrollable thoughts in your mind. Con destroy it. Dismantle it and cast it out. And then totally surrender your mind to Christ. And then totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray tonight. Somebody pray tonight. Hey! Man to press the lebro gada gada. Pull down. Yes, yes. Every stronghold of uncontrollable thoughts uh, and mind controlling spirit. Tenny and Jola. That's powerful. Somebody can't you to pray. Somebody can't you to pray. Intensify your prayer tonight. For the next couple of minutes, uh, before I start mentioning your names, uh, somebody can't you to pray. Somebody can't you to pray. You you are doing very well tonight. You are doing extremely well tonight. Intensify your prayer tonight. Intensify your prayer tonight. Hey, manto Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. 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 Hey, ma branda gada gada gada. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray tonight. Intensify your prayer for the next few seconds. Continue to pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray, 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 pray. You are doing very well tonight. You are doing very well tonight. Continue to pray. Somebody pray, somebody pray, somebody pray.
Somebody pray tonight. Somebody pray tonight. Somebody pray tonight. My brother, as I begin to mention your names and pray for you, Mary Anang, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus. Mama Comfort Mensa Bonsu, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Omo and Angela, I totally surrender your minds to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Amma, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Tenny and Jola, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Mama Hannah Note, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Mama Hetty Ashford, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Matthew, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Emmanuel David A. Champon, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Now in cancer, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Pastor Ebi Mensa, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Uh, Jacqueline Fox, uh, a minister, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Samantha Nkrumah, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Uh, Monica Watson, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Sephora and Zenga, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Lami Keto, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Uh, Sydney, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Uh, Eunice Ama, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Ebi Iyoro and your family, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Mama Helen Alokwe, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Doreen Ejeya, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. M. Norasuna, I totally surrender your mind to the, to the obedience of Christ. Irene Zippy, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Crystal Cheney Marco, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Somebody pray. Mama Loretta Lewis, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Felicia Quaison, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Sebet Mambu and family, I totally surrender your minds to the obedience of Christ. Somebody pray to Paul Asifri Ochre, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Katia Kalonji, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Nana Mensa and family, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Princess Ephia, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Babe Abna, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Jennifer Francis, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Sarah Kakimbo, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Somebody pray. Rita Bonsumensa, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Somebody pray. Mama Hannah Note, I pray for you again. I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Mama Teresa, a champion. I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. William Bonsu, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Intensify your prayer. Abraham, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Pastor James Adjimendia and family, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, thank you for joining man of God. Pastor Gladys Smith and Apostle Smith, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Somebody pray, Pastor Doris, and I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Billy Jean Nelson and family, I totally surrender your minds to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, somebody intensify your prayer tonight. Intensify your prayer tonight. Intensify your prayer. Adua Atta, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Mary Kendongo, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Mama Rita Dazi, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Moro Zenaba, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Alberta Duyamensa, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you tonight, Eric Amwako. I I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you tonight for answered prayers. Oh God, we thank you for deliverance tonight. We thank you for salvation tonight. Mama Evelyn Karamaji, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. MD, and Mama Yadufia, and Mama Evelyn Guatima, and the entire family. I totally surrender your minds to the obedience of Christ. 
Gabriel Mensa and your household, I totally surrender your minds to the obedience of Christ in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you tonight for answered prayers. We give you the glory, O oh Lord, in the name of God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen and amen and amen. Now, if I have mentioned your name um, for about a minute or so, don't type. Uh, stop typing and lift your hand up. Uh, lift your hands up. So stop typing. If your hands are lifted, you shouldn't be able to type. Uh, amen. So stop typing and lift your hands up if I've mentioned your name already. King Solomon, come your Pokemon, sir. I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. So I wouldn't mention your name again if I have done so already. So please just lift up your two hands and allow the Holy Ghost to minister to you. Henrietta Edward, uh, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Uh, in the mighty name uh, of Jesus Christ, uh, amen and amen and amen. Now lift up your two hands uh, and allow the Spirit of God to minister to you tonight. Uh, Evangelist Etienne Kwawen Jore, I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift up your two hands. The Holy Ghost is working on you. If I've typed your name, if I've mentioned your name, please don't type, don't type at all. Don't type. Just lift up your two hands. Amen. Lift up your two hands. Ade and Ola, I totally surrender your minds and the minds of your loved ones to the obedience of Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Now lift up your two hands and allow the Spirit of the living God to minister to you. Allow the Holy Ghost to minister to you. Allow the Holy Ghost to set you free tonight. Allow the Holy Ghost to touch you tonight. I pray for you tonight. I bind any spirit um, infiltrating the minds of your loved ones. Uh, and, and, and I expect Spell it in the name of the Lose your hold from their minds in the name of Jesus Christ and go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I expel you tonight. Get out and go now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, we thank you and we give you the glory for answered prayers. Now, as we were praying, there is somebody suddenly you developed this severe headache. Amen. As we are praying, you developed a severe headache. It wasn't there before. I need to pray for you quickly before we close. As we were praying, you developed a very a severe headache. Uh, amen. It wasn't there before. I, I, I need to mention your name and, and pray for you. I mean, if you are the one, uh, just type H for headache. Type H for headache. I mean, or H for hurry. I, I need to mention your name and pray for you. But if I've mentioned your name already, just lift up your two hands uh, and receive from the Lord tonight. The Holy Ghost is touching you tonight. The Holy Ghost is touching your loved ones tonight. Makra kata kata. Stop typing. It's important. You know, these prayers are very funny. They're very crafty. I mean, don't be distracted. Um, just stop typing and lift up your hands and allow the spirit of the living God to minister to you. Allow the spirit of the living God to minister to you. Allow the spirit of the living God to minister. I hope that some of you will listen to what I'm saying. I'm, I'm a deliverance minister and I know why I say that sometimes. These spirits are very funny. They, can, they are very good at distracting you. Amen. So just focus. Don't type. If I've mentioned your name, just lift up your two hands, uh, amen, and allow the Holy Spirit to touch you tonight. Allow the Holy Spirit uh, to minister to your loved ones tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, right now, be set free. Be set free now. Be free now. Be free. If you are the one, please let me know. I need to mention your name and pray for you tonight. Right now, receive your victory tonight. Receive victory tonight. Receive your deliverance tonight. Receive your deliverance tonight. Receive your deliverance tonight. Receive your deliverance tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in the name of Jesus, Linda, a champo has I surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ. Mama Teresa, a champo. I totally surrender your mind to the obedience of Christ in the name of Mama Teresa, a champo and family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Pastor Gladys says she's the one who developed the headache. Right now, if, I've, if, if, if I have mentioned your name, just stop typing. Don't be distracted. Lift up your two hands and receive see from the Lord. Uh, Pastor Gladys Smith, I pray for you tonight. Oh, place your right hand on your forehead, uh, Pastor Gladys Smith. 
place your right hand on your forehead place your right hand on your forehead right now right now holy ghost i thank you fight her battles for her tonight holy ghost fight her battles for her tonight holy ghost i pray for your deliverance tonight heal oh god and set her free tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ amen and amen i pray for you tonight in the mighty name of jesus christ Amen and amen. Chika Surunade, I totally surrender the, your mind and the minds of your loved ones to the obedience of Christ tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Right now, just lift up your two hands for, for just a moment. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for answered prayers tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, amen and amen and amen. God bless you. God bless you all for tuning in tonight. You've done very well. God bless you. God bless you. Um, please, uh, the best way to deal with this thing is to go back and play this um, clip over and over and over again. Amen. You can start typing now. You can start typing now. But go back uh, and, and share this link with your loved ones. Play it over and over and over and over again and pray with the prayers. Amen. And, and watch God move in your life. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Remember, these powers will also resist. They also fight back. They will fight back. The Philistines kept fighting back against David and Israel. I mean, so the enemy will always try to fight back. I mean, that's why you must constantly um, um, also resist it. I mean, and the Lord will bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I, I want to remind you once again of our Easter convention with Bishop Abraham Chumbudu. Amen. From Wednesday the 27th to Sunday and the 31st of March, amen, at 6 p. Well, Sunday yeah, evening, anointing service. So Wednesday 27th to Sunday 31st March. Very powerful man of God um, uh, coming all the way from Nigeria. Amen. Please uh, uh, make sure you are there in your numbers. Come with the family. Come with the family, amen. When when it comes to deliverance between, it's not good coming and leaving the family at home. No, amen. It's not good, and that's what Easter is about. Christ came to deliver us, and so it's going to be a very powerful deliverance conference. Come with the family so that they are all delivered. Don't come alone. Don't come alone. Come with your cousins, your aunties, your uncles. Get them all involved from Wednesday. Wednesday. All the through to Sunday and um, the 31st of March. Be part of this great conference and your life uh, will never be the same again uh, in Jesus' mighty name. Uh, amen and amen and amen. Praise the Lord. The address again is 119 East India Dock Road, London E14, 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 6D for David. F for Freddy. Amen. Make sure you participate uh, and the Lord will bless you immensely. I hope you've been blessed. And don't forget tonight also at 2 a.m. to uh, less than three hours from now, we'll be back on Zoom and uh, we'll be praying. Amen. In the spirit um, from 2 to 3 and then 3 to 4 a.m. warfare. Um, join us. It's also been a very interesting. Uh, we are dealing with some interesting topics in the night. Make sure you join us, uh, and your life will not be the same again. God bless you all once again. I love you all. And um, please let's share the grace as we bring tonight's meeting to a close. Let's share the grace. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen and amen. So God bless you. The Lord keep you and protect you all the days of your life. The Lord preserve you, preserve you, preserve your soul. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. I love you. Bye. You can stay behind and enjoy Pastor Ebimensa's music, my dear wife's music. God bless you all. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Shakara. Now you save me. I go to Shakara. You died for me. I go to Shakara. You set me free. Shakara, Shakara. Shakara, Shakara. Shakara, Shakara. Yeah, I will do. I will do. Shakara. Yeah. So, so wonder, na Jesus they do. So, so wonder, na Jesus they do. So, so wonder, na Jesus they do. Oh, so, so wonder, na Jesus they do. Another way. Save me, I know they were right there. You don't save me, the blood has set me free. Now I can show. I know they were right there. You don't save me, I know they were right there. You don't save me, the blood has set me free. Now I can show. Shakara, Shakara. Shakara, you died for me. I go to Shakara, you set me free. Shakara, 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 Shakara. Save me, the blood has set me free. Now I can show. Oh, I know where I did. You don't save me. I know they where I did. You don't save me. The blood has set me free. Now I can show. Shakara, Shakara. Shakara, you died for me. I go to Shakara, you set me free. Shakara, 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 Shakara. Shakara.